a few cast members might actually be in the background of the Avengers. <laughs> they con. might be. Yeah, 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 they might uh, be. No, um, might be. Saga and I did attend AvengerCon uh, in a little there. cameo situation. The show is fantastic. I love the first two episodes so much. Um, we saw this awesome video of Iman finding out that she was Miss Marvel. Uh, I want to know what that moment was like for you guys. What was the moment you got the call or the meeting or whatever it was that were like, you're in this show? Matt, I'll start with you and we'll just go down the line. Well, it was it was interesting because it was like a long and, you know, uh, detailed uh, casting process. And, you know, I did, you know, my auditions with Iman and then Rish and we had a great audition. Uh, I actually was, a, I was taking a nap. Uh, I remember exactly where I was. I was taking a nap. I heard my phone ring. I almost didn't pick it up, but I did. It was my it was my team, and they just, you know, gave me the good news. And I wasn't tired after that. And I kind of <laughs> just got up and, and was pacing around, you know, my apartment, just like contemplating life and and, and and everything about it. But no, I mean, it was it was amazing. Like, what do I do? What do I do? And I was like, I didn't I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, when I got the call, I had been under the impression for like a week at least, because I hadn't heard anything that I didn't get the job. So I warned it, had its funeral, like didn't, just wasn't thinking about it anymore. And I was staying at my best friend's house for two weeks and we were living together and my parents came up with some lame excuse for me to come home and do laundry or something, which I didn't need to do, but they seemed pretty adamant about it. So I came home and as soon as I came home, my dad had his phone tipped up like like this already, like recording me. So I was already kind of suspicious of what was going on. And I got a call from my managers and asked them if they were kidding. And they were like, this is the worst joke that we could have ever pulled on you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, same as Matt, I, I started crying and then pacing and, and couldn't sit still for like at least the next two days. <laughs> So, so your, pa your parents knew before you did? Yeah, so like, because I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it, I think my managers had reached out to them first and been like, listen, we don't know for sure yet. We don't wanna get her hopes up, but this might be coming through for her. So they already knew that the call was coming and I think they texted to let them know, like, get this on video or something like that. But um, yeah. <laughs> and Rish? We're all a bunch of criers, it seems. I also <laughs> cried. Um, yeah, and no, I was also asleep. So yeah, time difference, London, my team are in LA and uh, they woke me up and I was screaming <laughs> with joy, woke everybody in my family up. My mom cried down the phone to my team, like thanking them for, for making this happen for me. And um, yeah, and then I just celebrated with all my closest people, everyone close to me at home. Now, I was gonna ask you guys if Avengers Con was real, who would you cosplay as? But I heard a story that a few cast members might actually be in the background of the Avengers. Con. They might be. Yeah, they might be. Uh, no, um, Saga and I did attend AvengerCon uh, in a little there. cameo situation because we were so obsessed with the set, we wanted to be a part of it. So we were just we were dressed up somewhere in there. Um, it's kind of like a Where's Wally situation at this point. Uh, so we'll have to try and see if people can figure we'll out. A little Easter egg. Yeah, well, they, they are like, really close to Bruno Kamal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. At, at right. yes. We're very close to them. I'm almost whispering in his ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, is there a storyline from the comics you would really love to see come to fruition at some point in the MCU for your respective characters? I mean, there's so many. Like, I, I could I could go on about like because the comics are so great. I don't know. I, I think you know the. Um, well, I don't. I don't want to. I just. I don't know. I don't know. They're I'm all, setting they're you guys all... up for failure. I think. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, so I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. I don't know. They're all they're all great though. That's that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think your characters survived the snap? And have you asked this question Ooh, to I anybody think in about this? I have. Um I Yes. I, you know why? Because actually I can't say this, but I but I'm just gonna say, yeah, I think he did survive the snap, but some of his loved ones did it. I I did because I saw they handed me my driver's license and I got to see my date of birth. And I compared it to like the year that the show was set in. And I was like, okay, so if I am 16 in the show now, and I was born at this time, she did survive the snap. So okay. We must have all, we must have all survived the snap, the yeah. three of us, because we've been friends like our whole lives. Yeah. <laughs> Thanos didn't get us. Get them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you. I don't know about me. Oh, about you. Um, when diving into the comics, was there a detail about each of your characters that was really important for you to pull onto the the screen when you were developing your characters. 
Yeah, I think for me when I was was reading them, I think you know the main thing was that uh, the dynamic between Bruno and, and Kamala, you know, it's so important and vital. Um, is their friendship and you know that connection they have, that chemistry and getting to know Aman. I mean, she is Kamala Khan. She is the perfect, perfect person, and just to be lucky enough to to work with her and 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 do scenes with her is great. And you know, we have fun and and we you know make sure that you know the comics. Uh, we stay true to the comics and that, you know, they come to life. Um, so I hope people enjoy that. Yeah, I mean, with with Nakia, she was a huge role model in the comics. And I, I think that in going into the show and already having read a, a decent amount of the comics and having been a fan of them already, I wanted to make sure that the fact that she is a, a beacon of light and power for her community in the comics, I really, I really wanted that to translate in this show as well. And luckily, Sana and the the whole team and all of the beautiful Muslim creatives behind the show were adamant about that as well. So it made it very easy. Um, but that was the biggest thing that I wanted to make sure that was still in her. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think Kamala and Kamran are able to connect on a deep level when it comes to their culture and and all of those references. And so it was really important for us, you know, to be able to bring that into the show. And um, yeah, it, it seems like it it was pretty fun and easy to be able to bring that into into the live action series. Yeah, congratulations, guys. So lovely to talk to you all.